episode of Sincerely V. Thank you for tuning in. I know last week, for some reason, the volume was low and the wind was blowing crazy. So I, I apologize that, you know, you guys didn't hear much in the video. We're going to get into today's hot topic, which is Celebrity Roundup. Now, celebrity couples are always the hottest topic in entertainment. Who's dating who? Who's hooking up with who? Who's cheating on who? So for this week, I'm going to discuss three couples that that are that each have a different situation going on. So let's get into it. Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, aka Kim Ye. I actually like them together. I think they complement each other very well. They have an attraction to each other that is unspoken, like you can just see it. I know a lot of people when they first started dating were questioning their relationship because pictures, they seemed awkward and, oh my God, why is she standing like that? He seems standoffish. I think it's because them stepping out, there was so much being spoken about as it is in their relationship that it, it was pretty awkward for them. But as time has gone on, I think we've all seen how comfortable they are and they adore each other. They, there's something that I'm saying, yes, these two mesh well together. We've also seen a difference in Kim when it comes to the relationship. She's wearing less makeup. And that brings me to her, her ex-hubby, Chris Humphreys, because he said so many times, especially on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, that... I love Kim without makeup, you know, she's more beautiful without makeup, but she would continue to wear makeup. Like, she wasn't even paying him any mind. But with Kanye, she stripped down, less makeup. There was one point where she had cut her hair or taken out her extensions. She's added it now. She just seems more comfortable and, and, and more in tune with who she is, which I think is a good thing, you know? When it comes to the dropping of the song, what? Okay, Perfect Bitch is probably going to be a hot song. Kanye is is such a mastermind, and he's so good at what he does. The song is probably going to be crazy dope. But why not call it, as one of our readers on She's So Major said, Perfect Beauty, Perfect Lady, Perfect Woman. Why call it Perfect Bitch? And the fact that Kim says she's honored by the fact that she's his perfect bitch is another thing. Like, that's why men feel it's okay to say things to women and, and put them down. Because perfect bitch to me and to a lot of our readers on She's So Major, that's not a compliment. But, you know, if that's what Kim likes, she's, she's in love. So we'll just let her be in love and be that perfect bitch for Kanye. The second couple is another Kardashian. You know, the Kardashian family, they're all like, woo, but we're addicted to them. Courtney, the eldest Kardashian, two kids, recently gave birth to baby Penelope, is with Scott. They've been together for over five years. Scott always feels not in sync with the family, which we all see. They don't sleep in the same bed, which is very weird to me like that's very weird but then I also remember the fact that Kim Courtney is an Aries as I am now I can tell you a few things about Courtney we're not we don't display affection very well that's everyone knows that we're very I don't want to say standoffish because ugh, that's a bit eh. but we don't display affection very well although we love very hard. We sometimes seem, do they think they're better than somebody else? But that's not us. Like we're very caring, we're very giving people, but we do have this eh to us that sometimes people are like, uh, until they get to know us. So when it comes to Courtney showing affection to Scott, I understand the fact that she doesn't show it much because she's an Aries, but she generally does love Scott. I was a bit turned off by the cover of this week's Us Weekly because even though it's about mother and child on the cover, I feel like Scott should have been on the cover. Yeah, you flip through, he's on the inside, you know, spread, but I feel like it would have been so beautiful for it to be a cover shot of 
Scott, Courtney, Mason Dash, and Penelope. But you know, these Kardashians is all about them. You can't can't even bring the baby daddy in the situation. He can't. The only time Scott gets a cover is when, oh, Scott and Courtney about to break up. Scott and Courtney, is Scott drinking too much? That's the only time when it's negative. But something so like that you would want to embrace, they're not even giving him that opportunity. So I was, I was turned off by that. But that's another couple that I like them. I think they balance each other out very well. Courtney has her kookiness about her, 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 her standoffishness, standoffishness. And Scott is just Scott, and they just mesh well together. So, so far, I like Kim and, Kim and Kanye. I like Courtney and Scott. I find it weird still that they don't sleep in the same bed. I, I guess they plan when they're gonna, you know, be romantic with each other and, and, and have a child. I find it very awkward that they don't sleep in the same bed. But maybe one day she'll fully explain the reason why it's weird. The third couple, now they're not a couple right now, Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart. Kristen, Kristen. Who would have thought weird Kristen Stewart would be a homewrecker? Now, you've been with Rob Robert for so long. You guys have an unspoken relationship. We know you guys are together. You guys have never really come. You walk the red carpets together. You acknowledge each other, but you haven't really said, okay, this is what it is. But we all know what it is. But for you to stoop, Kristen, so low as to cheating with a married man, a married man with two kids, is disgusting what's even more disgusting is that okay I don't feel like it just happened on this one occasion where she's trying to say it only happened once and oh boo boo and it was just that one time no no because there's other pictures that have surfaced of you going on a date with this director Rupert you the clothes were different in the pictures I could not believe with my eyes that she had the audacity to meet up with her lover in Rob's sweatpants and his cat. That is so mind-blowing. It's like, how much did you really care that you're hooking up with this guy in your man's clothes? That is disgusting. That is nasty. And I, I'm just shocked. And Rob not wanting to forgive her is very understandable as much as he loves her. It may take time. He may end up going back. He, he may just need time to just let it blow over, which I don't think it will because you know how the media is. But I think she stooped to the lowest level and it's just nasty. And it's crazy because weeks before she had done an interview saying, Oh, I need something crazy to happen in my life. You know, I need some excitement. Something to that effect. Yeah, honey. Something has happened. And now you cannot turn this back. It's forever going to haunt you. And you probably... Rob will probably never trust you again. It will take years for him to trust you again. But you wanted something crazy to happen. And women do that. They're always like... My relationship is so boring and oh, I just need some fun. Yeah, go on a vacation with your girls. <laughs> go have a few drinks. But don't cheat. Because when it comes and bites you in the ass, it's going to bite you in the ass. So that's my celebrity couple roundup for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I wanted to leave you guys with this quote. And is the truth. This is for, of course, my ladies. I've heard it many times. And my sister, well, she's, she's like a sister to me. She's older than me. She put up on her status the other day. Marry the man that loves you more, not the man that you love the most. I love it. See you guys next week.